and welcome to Ready Set Demo from Elizabeth's Craft Room for a look at my May class projects. Um, so this is what my lovely ladies are making this month. I'm going to give you a little talk through. Um, if you are a demonstrator, I'm going to give you some teaching tips, um, some little hints and tips and show you what I've used um, and hopefully give you a little bit of inspiration um, for projects that you can make. OK, so I'm going to start off with my little Easter boxes. Now, these are the um, we're calling these the square pillow boxes um, and you'll find them on page nine of the um, spring catalogue. So the March to April, uh, sorry, the January to April catalogue. Um, and I in, in the catalogue, they're shown as like little Valentine's gift boxes. But I thought they would make a perfect Easter or other occasion um, box. So a few little tips on how we did these. First of all, my bunny is from Fluffiest Friends, which is an online exclusive. And if you're a demo and would like printables for all the new online exclusives, check my other video um, or check the link down below. Uh, to find that and um, you will see all the, the information about having those to print um, because I know that my lovely ladies like to see something on a piece of paper as well of course as stamping with it so um, we have our little bunny um, I did two versions of him we've got the white bunny and we've got the grey bunny so he is in smoky slate um, so my ladies can choose which of those they would like to do. Um, the boxes themselves, um, they come white and we have used blending brushes on them to actually blend. And then with this one, I've used Notes of Nature, the leaves and this kind of little graph uh, graphic pattern. Um, and I've just done that in a darker tone. So here we've got... Um, pool party and oh it's going to come back to me of course it's lost lagoon <laughs> and with this one um i've used um I don't know whether you can see how well you can see on the on the camera but i've used sentimental park um and so my um i've used blending brushes in the um lemon lolly and then i've used uh daffodil delight um, to stamp Sentimental Park all over there. Um, I'm finding I get the best effect with something um, that is a nice open, um, an open stamp, as I um, say to my lady, something that you would normally colour in. Um, and it just gives that really nice texture um, all over. Um, yes, this is the pool party ribbon from Celebration. I had lots of it left and it's so pretty. Um, I decided to use that up um, in class this month. So that's that one. Our next one, um, I actually put this on my um, on my blog the other day that I fear my pansies are going. I fear that our pansies are going to retire. We've had them a good few years. Um, I kept my original sampler. So that has saved me some time in showing my lovely ladies all the different ways you can build up um, using the stamps, using the dies as a standalone. You can do a combination of the two. Um, so I've done an awful lot here of um, work in advance because I didn't have to do it this time. Um, so it's always worth keeping your samples. I had on here originally, Do you, if you remember, we had um, designer papers to go with them. So I just took those off because we don't have those anymore and just put the details on there. So my lovely ladies can find them if they decide they need these. No particular tips on this one. We're also using the countryside corner dies um, for our layers. Um, and yes, I kept that from when they launch. It's always handy to keep those things because you never know when you're using them again. Um, you can um, you can show those. Um, this is the sheer combination ribbon that I've used. Uh, we used the blue. It's a trio set. So we used the blue. I think it was last month or the month before. And you can see 
<laughs> in this particular case, I have pre-tied pre bows uh, for my lovely ladies, so they can uh, they can choose a um, the um, the lemon or the bubble bath. Uh, in case you don't know, a Mother's Day in the U in the UK is in March. So we've got a Mother's Day version. Um, this uh, greeting comes out of the pansy, um, the pansy set. Um, and yeah, we did a little bit of bone fold, uh, a bone folder curling on these, a little bit of daubing around the edge, a bit of fussy cutting as well for the actual flower. So that is some. Oh, and one other thing, if you're teaching this in class, I had a cheat sheet ready. And I actually have put on the back of the stamps which stamp they are using. So you can see them all here in my box and I've actually put the colour they're using <laughs> and the number and the order to create that pansy by putting a couple of these on the table for people who haven't done them before. And hopefully one, two, three, four will help them along their way. <laughs> so that was the other little teaching tip for that one. And finally, a couple of versions of the um, Meandering Meadow Garden Meadow stamps. Um, I've actually um, fussy cut these. So these are literally just the stamps we're using in class. I realised I was already going to have to take um, <laughs> three die cutting machines to class. So I thought we'd do a bit of fussy cutting. Um, all we've got here is a, a bit of stamping for the background, uh, colouring in with blends. And we're using the blending brushes to do a bit of green at the bottom, a bit of blue at the top. So simple project, um, but I think a, a fun one um, at, at for anyone at any time of year. So I hope you like those. Um, thanks for visiting today. As I say, if you would like to know about um, more about the printables um, for online exclusives, do come and visit. You can visit me at Ready, Set, Demo if you Google that. Or as I say, I will have a link below um, where you can go and find out more. OK, thanks very much for visiting Elizabeth's Craft Room and Ready, Set, Demo today. Bye. Love.